Today we're going to talk about some tips to stop feeling hungry right after we're done eating. I've struggled with this most of my life and I still struggle with this from time to time. These tips are from Healthline and they are evidence-based and I'll include the link in the show notes so that you can read all the details about it. The first tip is we want to make sure we're eating enough protein. I actually am a protein girl. <laughs> this can increase feelings of fullness, lower hunger hormone levels, and potentially even help you eat less at your next meal, which I think is pretty cool. Number two is eating foods that are high in fiber. High fiber intake helps fill us up because we're slowly digesting that fiber and it also helps influence the release of a fullness hormone that can increase that feeling that we're satisfied and really regulate appetite. Uh, if you aren't really eating enough fiber, I highly recommend doTERRA's fiber. I do a scoop of fiber and a scoop of greens every day at four o'clock for my 4 p.m. snack and I absolutely love it. I can tell a big difference in my digestion and I'm usually not snacking before dinner when I do that. We wanna make sure we're getting in enough water. We wanna be drinking half our body weight in ounces, and you can build up to that. Like if you're really far from that, slowly build up to half your body weight in ounces. Sometimes our body is just mistaking thirst for hunger, and when we drink a big glass of water, your body was like, oh, that is what I needed. So next time you think you might be hungry, try drinking a glass of water and see if that really helps satiate the body. When we're eating, eating solid or hard foods that actually require us to chew can help signal to the brain, oh, we've eaten. Sometimes when we do shakes and we're not chewing, we can get hungry right away, even though there's plenty of nutrients and protein and all sorts of things in those shakes. If we haven't actually had that chewing process, our body's like, you haven't fed us yet. And so I actually lean towards eating real food as opposed to shakes. I know there's shake lovers out there and if that's working for you, no judgment at all. But if it's not working for you, know that it's that. It's not you. <laughs> Our body might need to know, oh, I chewed food. I, you really did feed me. The next tip is eating mindfully, and I have an episode on this. In episode 43, I give three tips for mindful eating. John and I started incorporating this probably about three years ago. It's helped so much for us to not overeat and really start listening to our bodies and understanding our particular body cues of when we're full and when we are actually hungry. Yet again, getting enough sleep. <laughs> you guys know I talk about this all the time, and I think maybe... Maybe I do stress it enough, but can you believe that it's helping with digestion in a recent episode? It's helping us to not feel hungry later. It really, really impacts all aspects of our health. So it can help reduce hunger. It can protect against weight gain. I actually just read a study that was saying if you interrupt your sleep to exercise, you're more likely to plateau in weight loss because you're not getting that needed sleep. So I think a lot of us even think exercise is more important to weight loss than sleep, but sleep is more important to weight loss than exercise. They're both pretty important, but you don't want to interrupt your sleep for exercise. I thought that was kind of mind blowing. Anyway, so studies show that getting too little sleep can increase our subject's feelings of hunger, appetite, and food crazy cravings. Sleep deprivation can also cause an elevation in hunger hormones. So too little sleep increases feelings of hunger, appetite, and cravings, and getting enough helps lower the elevation of those hunger hormones. Finding ways to manage stress is actually very important too. I have several episodes on that. Excess stress is known to raise levels of the hormone called cortisol, and this is known to increase food cravings and have that drive to eat, and that has also been linked to weight gain. So kind of think about when you're stressed and you just want to start chewing on something that's crunchy or, you know, you just go to the pantry because you're upset about something. 
finding breathing techniques or essential oils or ways that we can manage stress without going quickly to food. And then the last thing is don't deprive yourself. As soon as I tell myself there's a certain food that I can't have, it's all I can think about. Like sometimes I even dream about it. And so I've recently, gosh, probably about two years ago, really not said that you can't have that. And so I'm not thinking about that thing all the time and it's really helped me. So just try a couple of these next week. Let me know how it goes. Let me know if you have any questions, please subscribe or follow and I'll see you next time.